everyone and welcome to episode 2 of Sexual Reproduction. Today we'll be covering the male reproductive system including the structures and the functions. Yeah, it's gonna be super fun. <laughs> Hope you love it. Today we're gonna be talking about the male reproductive system. The first thing we're gonna talk about today is the sperm cell. The sperm cell is a type of gamete. There are two types of gametes, a male and a female gamete. The male is your sperm cell and the female is your egg cell. All gametes contain 23 chromosomes. The last important thing to know about sperm cells is that they're small with a tail that's made for swimming, which helps them do their function. So now let's talk about hormones. Hormones are molecules that regulate body functions and travel in the blood. The hormone we're going to be talking about today is testosterone. All right, let's talk functions of the male reproductive system. The first is to produce testosterone, which results in secondary sexual characteristics being developed, AKA facial and body hair are grown, there's a deepened voice, there's an increase in muscle mass, and there's also, unfortunately, body odor. The second function of the male reproductive system is to produce sperm cells. Sperm cells are gametes that contain half of the male's DNA or genetic information. The third function of the male reproductive system is to deliver gametes to the female during sexual intercourse. The gametes need to reach the egg, so the male's job during sexual intercourse is to prepare the gametes so that they are able to move towards the female's egg. All right, now let's discuss structures of the male reproductive system. All of these structures are located in the pelvic region. The first one is testes. These are the male gonad or the organ that makes gametes. So this is where sperm is made. It produces sperm and testosterone. It produces several million sperm per day after puberty. It makes about 1,500 sperm per second. It's also surrounded by the scrotum and is held outside of the body. The epididymis is a gland that surrounds the testes, and this is where sperm mature. Basically, you can think of it as this is where the sperm get their tails. The vas deferens are tubes that exit the testes and bring the sperm to the urethra. There's one vas deferent for each testis. In addition to the structures we've talked about already, there are also a few glands that all males have as part of their reproductive system. These glands produce fluids and nutrients that are gonna mix with sperm to create semen. The three different glands that we're gonna talk about are the Cowper's gland, the seminal vesicle, and the prostate. The next structure we're gonna be talking about is the urethra. This is the tube that exits out of the body. It brings both semen and urine from the inside of the body to the outside of the body. The last and final structure that we're gonna be talking about today is the penis. The penis is the male sex organ that's used to aid gamete delivery during sexual intercourse. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's little segment of male reproductive system. Well, don't worry, we have your questions from your work today. Mm -hmm. Lots of great questions. And we'll be addressing them tomorrow. Yeah, we'll have lots of great answers for you. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Bye.